Hello my people welcome back to Mr Madras your city's channel something that recently intrigued me was the Tirumaile or the Mailapur metro station which is planned to open in 2028 for one it would house four active tunnels stacked one above the other up to 35 meters in depth second it would have to cut underneath a geologically very rocky soil and third it would have to compensate for existing structures around but let's watch how CMRL has planned to solve these problems and make it an engineering feat comparable to the New York subway system All we have is 8 minutes so let's jump right into this episode. Let's start with the grand vision of CMRL connecting the entire city and its suburb with six metro corridors. Particularly of interest to me was the Tirumaile metro which is a planned interchange station in the Mailapur locality. It is a key interchange linking corridor 3 or the purple line from Madavaram in the north to Sipcot in the south and corridor 4 or the orange line from Lighthouse in the east to Punamali bypass in the west. The metro station poses a serious engineering challenge as it will be the deepest metro station in the city at 35 meters depth. Note that in phase 1 The central metro was the deepest at 30 meters depth. Mailapur metro will also be built by cutting through extremely rocky soil and constructing station as well as tunnels across very narrow road spaces. This will be located underneath the junction connecting Lus and Canal Bank Road which is has been of great historic importance and has evolved over time like you can see here. To take you through this complexity visually, I have used a simple graphical tool that was available with me. Imagine this to be the Lus Four Corner Junction that you just saw a few seconds ago. Underneath, a T-shaped junction will be built with four levels and four tunnels stacked one above the other. At 35 meters below the ground or at the lowest level, the Lighthouse to Poonamani Orange Line will have the first track. which will be called the third level platform 3 on top of it two purple lines connecting madavaram and sipcot will be operated in parallel tunnels which will be the second level platform 2 Lastly, the second track of Poonamalli and Lighthouse will be built 17 meters below the ground, forming the first level or the platform one. At the top will be a concourse, which towards the end will look something like this. It is said that the station will have five entry exit points across the junctions to give commuters easy access to the station. My guess is that these point five points are going to be either side of the Lust Church Road, one near MRTS, one near the Vivek's showroom, and the last one in Kacheri Road bus stop. The Mailapur Metro also poses another engineering challenge. Observe this bridge which has black and white walls at the ground level not the MRTS overhead one over the Buckingham Canal This bridge must be demolished as its foundational pillars have piled depth of nearly 25 meters and come in the way of the twin tunnels that would be built between Mandavali and Tirumaile This is because the tunnel boring machine which would build the tunnels can only cut through concrete and not steel So CMRL's plan is to remove the foundational pillars of the culvert bridge and let the Buckingham Canal flow like it did during the British era. It is yet to decide on where to build the replacement bridge. Tunneling will commence likely in October 2024 once the diaphragm walls and shafts are constructed. Interestingly, CMRL has named its boring machines behind bird species 
like the flamingo, which is the one that is currently boring from the lighthouse, and others like eagle, peacock, and the pelican. The boring machines have a dia diameter of uh, 6.67 meters or nearly 7 meters. Has this engineering complexity not been solved anywhere else in the city? Well, the Alandur metro is also an interchange between the blue and the green line, but has an overhead design unlike the Mylapur metro. So that has ground level for entry and exit, a mezzanine level, a blue line at the second and a green line at the third level. Like I always uh, love doing, let's see how this engineering feat compares to what was done globally. For example, the subway project in New York. Like you may know, New York City is built upon a similar or a harder rock bed and required tunneling under the Hudson River too to connect with the New Jersey suburbs. But they managed this more than a century ago before tunnel boring machines were invented. Yes, using tunnel shields and compressed air to dig out under the river. In the present day, their engineering has been so advanced that they have even created a mini city called the Hudson Yards above this rail layer of rail yard and tunnels. But let's not take anything away from our capable engineers and wish them the very best of luck for this project. Rather calling it an engineering challenge may it be an engineering feat for all of us to watch in the year 2028. I hope you liked this video and if you did, please like and share it. Subscribe to my channel Mr. Madras for future episodes. Thanks for watching. See you next time.